let's talk about the pros and cons of TikTok head movement in Muay Thai or kickboxing. One of the most famous and iconic fighters in all of fight sports is Mike Tyson. And his movement was sideways, back and forward, very often sort of a tick-tock head movement. And he was so well known for it, and he executed it so well. And it led to so many knockouts for him. Now, this is something that is very familiar if you watch boxing. But if you're more into kickboxing or Muay Thai, you do not see this that often. Why is this? That is what I want to answer today for you. Now let's first talk about the pros of the TikTok head movement, and then we'll move into the cons after. Obviously, the pros are pretty much everything that works for Tyson. First off, when you keep your head in motion, when you move from side to side, whether you're stationary or moving forwards, you become a moving target. When you're a moving target, you are that much more difficult to hit. Stationary, I'm easy to touch. But as soon as I start going from side to side, probably if somebody throws at you, at least half the shots are gonna automatically miss just because you were moving. That is a massive positive of this TikTok head movement. In addition to that, you can also build up loads of power because as you bend from side to side, not only are you twisting your body a little bit as you drop, which puts your back shoulder in a prime position to unload and get massive power, but in addition to that, because the knees bend, you now have that enormous squat power, which will lead you into just being able to throw an enormous power punch, as we see Tyson often do. The final positive that I want to talk about is getting it ingrained into your brain and then after you throw a shot even if you utilize the TikTok head movement before after you throw you're probably initially going to go right back to doing it or at least executing a slip so at the end of a combo or a punch you're going to be that much less likely to get countered because of this head movement you're moving you throw and you go right back to moving. Again, just making yourself a very elusive target. But in spite of all those positives, it's very rare to see anybody execute this in karate, kickboxing, Muay Thai, or even MMA. So let's talk about what the obvious downsides of this are and why we just don't see more people utilize this outside of boxing. The first thing that we have to recognize with this tick talk head movement is as we mentioned we can gain lots of power because when we drop we're in the squat position that primes us up for loads of power the downside of that in any sport where you can use the lower half of your body is it becomes very difficult to engage the legs from here checking from here kicking from here Anything with the lower body aside from moving the feet becomes very difficult. So when somebody starts excessively dropping their weight from side to side and loading the lower body with loads of weight, it's going to slow them down and it's going to make them more vulnerable to low kicks. Now speaking of kicks, another downside to this is as we drop from side to side, we're basically just preemptively moving our head for shots that might pass by but we're not taking into account that we might drop our head into a round kick. When we have head level kicks involved in the situation, we need to be very careful about randomly shifting from side to side and moving and building the power of the kick simply because we meet it head on. I believe this is another reason we do not see this TikTok style head movement much in kicking sports because if I saw somebody doing this, doing that from the outside, I would just wait for them to go to one side and then I would blast the kick up. And in addition to that, if somebody is super evasive and they're using that and they're slipping my straight punches right after the punch, I will just follow with a kick. Just boom, boom, or boom, boom. Just basically utilizing the straight punches as setups to get the guy to drop his head to the side so I can follow with the high round kick. Now, so far to sum up the cons, we cannot execute checks very nicely when we're down low. It's hard to execute kicks when we're down low. And if we start dropping our weight from side to side, we might run into a head kick. The last aspect that I wanna really focus on is as we bob our head from side to side in boxing, we need to recognize that it's just the punches to the body which become a danger. But remember, when the head moves, 
the body stays fairly stationary. Not a big issue in boxing, but in any sport with kicks, if I see somebody moving their head from side to side, I'm just gonna snap a front kick right up the middle to the chest or the abdomen, and I'm gonna make them suffer because as we said, once we start getting to here, you're a little bit slower on the feet, you're not gonna be as explosive, and those kicks are now gonna land right down the middle very nicely. So it is absolutely up to you if you want to try out this Mike Tyson TikTok head movement style in your striking sports if you are involved with anything in the lower half of the body. Bear in mind everything I said, there are many positives, but there are cons. There are negatives, and if you do execute, just bear those in mind and make sure you're ready to avoid things like low kicks and front kicks to the torso. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, fast episode. This was a requested video. Somebody just asking, look at this head movement that Tyson executes looks so fantastic. Why am I not seeing it in Muay Thai or kickboxing? I hope I answered this question clearly and you found the episode very helpful. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you haven't already, join the channel and get subscribed. If you have your own request, a question that you want me to answer, drop it in the comments below. And as always, guys, train hard, and I'll see you back here soon for another video.